Being able to tell whether you've got a German Shepherd or a Belgian Malinois on your hands can be surprisingly tricky for the untrained eye. The devil is in the details, as they say. Let's see if we can sort this out. Firstly, take a good look at the photos you've provided. There are few key features we want to focus on here. The build of these two breeds is distinctly different. German Shepherds tend to have a bulkier, stronger build and a slightly sloping back. Belgian Malinois, on the other hand, are generally more sleek and athletic with a level back. Now look at the color and pattern of the coat. German Shepherds usually exhibit that classic sable pattern ranging from black and tan to red and black. Malinois typically have a fawn to mahogany coat with black markings, particularly a black mask and ears. The ears can be a giveaway too. Both breeds have upright ears, but the Malinois are a bit more pointed, whereas the German Shepherd's ears are a bit wider at the base. Another thing to consider, although it's harder to gauge from photos, is temperament. German Shepherds are known for their calm and confident demeanor, but they can have a protective streak. Belgian Malinois are often more high-strung and intensely energetic, and they are always up for a job to do. I live in Portland, Oregon, and around these parts, any dog that thrives on having a mission, like a Malinois, is in their element with all the hiking and outdoor activities we have on tap here. Given you've got the photos, I'd recommend taking a closer look using these pointers. And if you're still unsure, perhaps a DNA test could resolve this canine conundrum once and for all. Comparing breed characteristics is one thing, but genetics won't lie. Remember, whether you're dealing with a German Shepherd or a Belgian Malinois, you've got a highly intelligent and capable companion. Train well, give them a job, and you'll have a friend for life.